Hey guys, it's been a while since I've made a video, but I'm going to jump into a painting video today, and here's what the final product looks like. So today I'm drawing my friend Joanna. She can be found on Instagram under the handle buttsenpai, B-U-T-T-S-S-E-N-P-A-I. I'll put her link down below. First, I'm going to draw out her face, and then I'll lay out all of her features, sketch her hair, and sketch everything basically to the most amount of detail I need before I line the paint or line the drawing with a micron pen. So I met Joanna through my previous job. Currently, I work in technology, uh, but before this, I was more of a marketing type role at a government department. And while I wasn't super happy there, when I met her, I knew that we would just be best of friends. Um, she's a super geek, which I mean that in all the kindest of ways. She's absolutely beautiful, and she really takes care and is passionate for her hobbies. Right now she's gotten into crocheting, and she crocheted both my husband and I a hat for Christmas, which was absolutely amazing. So I figured I'd return the favor and create some art for her too. Joanna really loves anime and video games and that's what she spends a lot of her free time doing which I know that not everyone has a lot of free time now but when she does have it it seems that she's doing one of those two things um, she teaches me a lot about it too and I do plan to have her on the channel quite soon hopefully to do some sort of eating kind of video like sampling different Atlanta things maybe uh, bakeries so I'm hoping to get her on soon to talk about anime and talk about food and then I'm hoping to do more of these drawing videos as well. At this point, you can see that I'm using my Micron liners to line out the art itself. These liners are great because they're not water soluble, if that's the right word. They will not bleed when I run water over them when I get to the watercoloring portion of this video. So over the past few years, I think it's been three years since I last made a YouTube video, um, I've made a lot of progress in life. I really started focusing on my social life and building out a friend group here in Atlanta. I got a new job and actually I got two new jobs in the time that I've been gone <laughs> and both of them have been great. I bought a house and I have a beautiful Cocker Spaniel doggy. His name's Macklin and I have a cat named Noodle and I'm going on year five of being married to my video game sweetheart. As you guys know, I moved across the country to marry someone that I met in a video game and five years into our marriage and things are still going fabulously. So you can see that I'm lining out my art to the detail that I need it to be able to paint it well. It's like making my own coloring book at this point. And I know that I'm not getting super into detail on how I'm doing each of these portions of the painting. At some point I will go into detail on how to do flowers or how to do faces. That's one of the big goals for my channel. So Joanna's favorite flowers are forget-me-nots. So alongside these cherry blossoms that I've created, I am drawing out some forget-me-nots as well to incorporate her favorite flower. She has a cat, which you can see hanging off her shoulder. Her cat's name is Hina. Usually I would draw in like a scroll, almost like a tattoo style scroll. Um, and I would put the person's name in it, but in this one I chose not to. Uh, it's a gift to her, so I figured she knows her name, and it's not quite as important, and I figured I could choose that space that I would normally put a scroll to give it more uh, floral. So at this point, I'm getting into the painting, and in this painting, I am using P.H. Martin's, Dr. P.H. Martin's watercolor inks. I like these a lot because they are super vibrant and they are very uh, transparent so you can continue to see the lines that I've previously drawn. A lot of people will wait until after they've painted to add their line work, but I like to do it before I've painted so that I have a more clear boundary for where I need to stop painting. I also like Dr. P.H. Martin's paints because they are more like using a marker. And while I have other markers like Prismacolors and Copics, none of them blend quite as well as just using plain watercolor. And if you're not familiar with watercolor at all, 
I do plan to do watercolor technique painting demonstrations and dive into exactly the different techniques needed to create something like this. But I also plan to do different comparison videos so that you can see the difference between different types of watercolors. So a brick watercolor that you get for $2 versus one of these watercolors, which each of these little bottles is eight bucks. But I think over the amount of paints I've bought to determine that these ones are my favorite, I've probably spent double or triple the amount I spent on just this paint set alone. So buying different watercolor sets, buying different brands of watercolors, would have been really useful to have a video that compared each of these watercolor brands so that I could have seen in advance to what I was buying so that I wouldn't have wasted time or money. At this point I'm adding deep shadows. I laid down those base colors really quickly there. Another thing I like about these paints is that they go down quick and then they dry really quickly as well. And as I add in these base colors, you'll see that I'm also using accent colors. So like on these leaves, I have included pops of yellow and in the darker forget-me-nots I've used various types of blues so I might have used a teal as well as an aquamarine type blue and that way it gives a more dynamic look to the painting. Then I'm just going in with detail with a reddish brown to add depth to each of those cherry blossom flowers. So over the past few years I have new hobbies and things have changed. Uh, you know, I used to work at a flower shop and I still have a deep appreciation for flowers, so I paint with them a lot. I've built a little freelance watercolor business along the way. I do a lot of wedding invite type things as well as different gifts for different occasions. So when someone buys a new house, I'll paint their house and their family. Or if they just want to give a Valentine's Day gift, I'll paint the couple with maybe their favorite quote or established in 2014 whenever it is they were married. At this point I'm adding in a background color and I'm testing my colors before I use them using just a plain old notebook. You can see I made a mistake at this point. Mistakes are fine. There's always a way to make them look good. You'll see how I do that closer to the end of the video. Another one of the things that I'm very into nowadays is I'm a big foodie, so I like to travel around Atlanta into like the Beaufort Highway area and explore the different types of foods we have. It's a really great city to live in if you love food. So I love doing that and I hope to bring that to my YouTube channel. I would like to bring Joanna on and really dive into different bakeries and talk about anime and do things that she likes and I like and do it in a relaxing format, just like my channel's always been in. Another thing that's really uh, been on my mind lately is fitness. While I used to be into fitness, nowadays I am really interested in the details of it, more so than ever. Back to the painting, you can see that I'm filling in details of Joanna's face at this point, filling in the rims of her glasses. You'll never see me using straight black, usually dark browns and I'm just filling in all the shadows along where the shadows would fall. I usually use a global light rather than a direct light. Direct lights don't translate as well for my style of art in this painting specifically. So the detail on the shadows is usually minimal. At this point I'm going back in with more detail and this time I'm using Prismacolor paints or Prismacolor pencils and some Sharpie pens just to add that little extra detail. And I'm also drawing in her cat at this point. Like I said, I was saving that for the end. So back to fitness, I've lost about 40 pounds. I'm currently doing intermittent fasting along with really strict ma macro counting. Um, with the loss of 40 pounds, I've also been doing um, heavy lifting in the forms of, I go to two different gyms, I do like accessory and some basic Olympic lifting at one of my gyms and then the other I do a CrossFit gym. That way I can get both um, the high intensity work as, as well as like those big heavy lifts. I've repositioned myself here, took a little break to let my legs rest. I need to set up my 
studio space a little bit better for these voiceovers. So pardon me if I'm shifting around, it's because my legs were getting a little tired in the way I was sitting. At this point in the painting, I am on to the final detail work. I am working with a jelly roll pen. These jelly rolls are super opaque, and I outline pretty much all the important elements of paintings, as well as give some highlights here and there with them. I outline each of the flowers to really make them pop, and then I'll outline the white outline with, a, um, with another Micron pen. It's almost like when you're using Photoshop and you add a stroke to something, and then also add a drop shadow. It's the same kind of effect without having to use Photoshop, it's all on paper. You can see I did go back into her hair with some red. I went back in first with the Dr. P.H. Martins to really give it that bright red shine, and then I went in with Prismacolor pencils just to give them a little bit more detail without messing up any of the fine hairlines that I really like to keep crisp. So yeah, life has been pretty good, and I'm really excited to return back to YouTube. There's a lot I would like to do. I'd like to explore food, I'd like to explore more art, especially those um, reviews of different products and going through different types of techniques that I find really useful. I also kind of think I'd like to make a few fitness videos perhaps, but nothing too intense, just little fitness updates perhaps, or different exercises I like. I think that spreading the good word of being fit is probably a very good thing to do. Um, I know I certainly wouldn't have gotten into this methodology of getting fit and heavy lifting if I hadn't seen other strong women do it first. Um, that inspiration is really important, I think. Just like in the technology world, if you don't see someone doing what you do first, it's really hard to get into it. So I code for part of my living, just a little bit, and seeing other women that code and going to women in technology meetups has been super inspiring for my career. And I want to be able to talk maybe more about technology as well in future videos, bringing some of the tips that I have. I don't know. We'll see where this these uh, this tr transition, this journey, I want to see where it takes me. And along the way, uh, my videos might be different in the way they sound, but I'm going to always try and not get too excited, keep it pretty chill, and then use the good microphones that you guys are used to, because I know why you're here. You're here for ASMR, and maybe the ASMR will be a little bit different, but I think ASMR has changed over the years, which is why I might be not so much into the culture of ASMR at this point. But if you want to see what I'm up to lately, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. On Twitter, I basically just talk about random stuff. I'm still not sure how to use Twitter, but I've been on it for a while now, so that's been interesting. But on Instagram, I'm usually pretty active, updating about art on my art page and updating about life on my life page. I'll put both of those links down below, along with Joanna's link, and hopefully the next time I'm on video with you, we'll be either diving into more art, or maybe Joanna will come join us and we'll go to a bakery in Atlanta. All right, we'll talk soon. Bye!